Hello and welcome to another edition of Motor Cars Enthusiasts right off the bat on today's show. Let's talk a little bit about Easter because it's only a week and a half away and not only is that a big time on the Christian calendar, it's also a very big time out in the Moab, Utah's own Easter Jeep Safari Rally that happens every year this time of year. And not only is there going to be a bunch of off-road folks taking in the sights, running over a lot of the trails out there in Moab, there's also a ton of cool Jeep concepts that Jeep drags out there every year. And let's take a peek at what Jeep has in store, including this particular machine, which doesn't any have anything to do with anything they're going to sell anytime soon. It's what they've sold. This is the Jeep Wagoneer Road Trip. Jeep actually found this vehicle on Craigslist, but don't think they're just dragging it out to Moab. This thing has gone through the gauntlet. Brand new paint. They've redone the body on the vehicle, including stretching it and widening it. Brand new chassis underneath it. All new interior. The vehicle comes with a 5.7 liter Hemi V8 with a four-speed automatic transmission. And the vehicle's got where it counts. That new chassis is linked up with a brand new four-link suspension front and rear with coilover dampers on all four corners. That is are hooked up to Dana 44 axles. And the vehicle comes with 17-inch steel wheels to give it that old-style look that are wrapped in 33-inch BF Goodwrench Mud Terrain tires. Another vehicle that they have out there is one that you probably could actually buy and build if you so desire. It's based on the Jeep Renegade, but it's actually the Jeep B-Ute concept. This particular machine comes with a factory-installed Tiger Shark 2.9-liter turbocharged four-cylinder linked up with a nine-speed automatic transmission. Gets 1.5 inches of suspension lift on all four corners, 17-inch wheels, and BF Goodwrench all-terrain tires. And it gets a lot of Mopar, Magnetic Morelli, and Jeep-branded accessories all over the machine. Now let's get into the brand new JL Wrangler stuff as they're showing off a lot of the new Wrangler this at the Moab event. This is the one that you probably could see in your local trails or on your local car parks anywhere around the world. This is the Jeep J-Wagon concept. This vehicle comes with a lot of Mopar, Magneti Morelli, and Jeep branded products all over the machine. Bespoke paint that's only, that's only on this particular machine. And it comes with 35-inch BF Goodwrench all-terrain tires on all four corners. Now let's get into stuff that's a little bit more serious. This is called the Nacho Jeep. And it comes with a lot of Mopar branded Magnetti Morelli and also Jeep branded accessories, including these tube doors that are on both sides. The vehicle comes with two inches of lift on all four corners. And it comes with 37 inch BF Goodwrench tires wrapped around these 17 inch bead lock wheels and it gets obviously a lot of winch a lot of lighting accessories as well same comes in with the jeep jeepster this kind of harkens back to some of the old days with the two-tone paint they've actually raked back the windshield 2.5 degrees which has allowed this vehicle to get this kind of chop top look to the vehicle this vehicle, too, comes with a lot of Mopar, Magneti Morelli, and Jeep branded accessories with winch lighting accessories and these two inches of lift on all four corners along with these 37-inch mud terrain tires from BF Goodwrench wrapped around these beadlock wheels with the beadlocks actually painted to match the vehicle. Another vehicle, this, this is getting a little bit more serious. This is the Jeep 4-Speed, and Jeep's done some extensive work on this particular machine. A lot of aluminum parts have been taken off in favor of some carbon fibers. This vehicle's definitely been on a diet. The rear seats delete, all the interiors delete, no heater, air conditioning inside of the vehicles, no radio, no nothing like that, no nav screen, nothing. This thing has been stripped to the bare minimum, and in fact, Jeep is claiming that this thing weighs nine. 950 pounds less than the actual JL Wrangler that it was based on. And that's going to help in a lot of departments, including that 2-liter turbocharged 4-cylinder unit that's inside of this vehicle. But it's got the tough where it counts as well. With the Dana 44 axles front and rear and 410 gears, very low gear. Again, going to help that turbocharged 4. 18-inch wheels with 35-inch 
mud terrain, BF Goodwrench, tires on all four corners. The next vehicle that we're going to look at, I think this is a vehicle that FCA and Jeep probably looked at me and said, you know what? That fat guy deserves a vehicle that's right down his alley, and that's exactly what the Jeep Sandstorm is. Listen to what this vehicle is. Not only does it have that new Jeep Scrambler look that there's a lot of talk that's going to be coming to a local dealership near you, but it's got it where it counts because the engine for this vehicle is the 6.4 liter, normally aspirated Hemi V8. Yes, the 392 cubic inch Hemi, backed up with a six-speed manual transmission. Dana Track 60s on front and rear, and it's geared down to 5.68 gear ratios in this vehicle, along with 17-inch beadlock wheels and 39.5-inch BF Goodrich mud terrain tires. And that's not all. It's also got custom-made coilovers, along with bypass shocks on all four corners. This vehicle actually has 14 inches of up and down front travel, 18 inches of rear suspension travel. Yes, this vehicle could take on the Ford Raptor and may take it on in places that it couldn't even go with the live front and rear axles. This is a pretty sweet piece of kit. I know FCA and Jeep is never going to build this machine, but Jeep, if you kind of get tired of this one and you want to just kind of let it go, I know a home where it would be much welcomed. Now let's talk about something that isn't anything off-road, and it comes from the folks over at Voxel. Voxel's showing off the brand new Corsa GSI. Now they're showing this thing off, but we know little to nothing about this machine, other than it looks dang good, taking on the likes of the Ford Fiesta ST in the future. 18-inch wheels on all four corners. Obviously, you see it gets a lot of aero goodies all over the machine. Red painted calibers, talking about Recaro seats on the inside. No word on what's going to be powering this particular machine or the pricing or availability on this vehicle as yell. It might as well be a Jeep concept as well because we pretty much know little to nothing about this vehicle. But it is, it looks the business. I cannot wait to see what they may have powering this machine and what it may go for in the future. That's all there was that I thought was worth talking about for this edition of Motor Cars Enthusiast. Don't forget to like us over on the Facebook page. Link's down in the show notes. Also, if you'd like to subscribe to the channel, you can do so at any time and get the first dibs on the brand new shows as soon as they come out. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again real soon.